High blood pressure, also known as hypertension, is a condition which affects an estimated 14. 4 million people in the UK. Having high blood pressure puts you at risk of heart attack and stroke, and is often referred to as a silent killer. Hypertension is known as a silent killer due to the lack of symptoms that come with it. This means many people are unaware they have high blood pressure, and so are at risk of developing serious medical issues if not treated. High blood pressure can be treated, often with a mixture of lifestyle changes and medication. If you are concerned about your blood pressure, it's best to make an appointment with your GP. So what are the symptoms of high blood pressure? Usually, high blood pressure does not have any symptoms, however, severely high blood pressure can cause fatigue, nausea, vomiting, confusion, anxiety, chest pain, muscle tremors. There are key risk factors to bear in mind, however, and according to the NHS these are being overweight, eating too much salt and not eating enough fruit and vegetables, not doing enough exercise, drinking too much alcohol or coffee, or other caffeine-based drinks, smoking, not getting much sleep or having disturbed sleep sleep being over 65 having a relative with high blood pressure being of black African or black Caribbean descent living in a deprived area because of the danger, the NHS and the British Heart Foundation ask anyone over the age of 40 to get their blood pressure checked regularly. Professor Jamie Waterall, National Lead for Cardiovascular Disease Prevention at Public Health England, said, High blood pressure is the country's leading cause of heart attacks and strokes, which is why we must make it easier for people to get their blood pressure checked. If you're over 40, getting your free NHS health check is a simple way to find out your blood pressure as well as your risk of other serious conditions. Diagnosing high blood pressure earlier and managing it in line with NICE guidance will save thousands of lives and prevent years spent in ill health. That's why we've set national ambitions to improve the detection and management of high blood pressure within the next decade, 